it's really dark outside and I'm being very mystique by not turning on this light but I just thought I should vlog since term has officially started and yeah that is a bed sheet hanging over there in the cupboard I know you can't see it but I'm just gonna tell you to help you realize everything is in shambles <laughs> trap about what about what stuff i'm gonna be doing this term so everyone's been trying to figure out online learning and delivery and at the moment it's all very confusing seminars which were gonna happen in person have filled up there were no notifications sent out about that about the fact that Seminars are actually opening for registration and everything is like in the process at the moment but then again term has officially started. Today is the end of day one, term one, 2020-21 and yeah it just feels like a normal day and that kind of has me on edge so I thought I'm gonna vlog at least like the first week of Term just to see how the process unfolds and I'll just keep feeding you snippets of stuff. So we've just discovered that so can't see hands has race. started um, so first we'll online lecture is up. So let's um, see how this goes. There uh, haven't been too many issues uh, simply, now, uh, um, and uh, type whatever, scenario, whatever letter you want, we're meant to do make sense, so chance. let's see how it goes. Uh, in the, in the... Cue the time lapse, boys. So the funniest and most irritating thing happened today so i was i finally began cleaning my room like you can see like the cupboard is open for a reason and like my sheets have been changed so i finally began cleaning my room and i get this call and it's like okay it's a landline number and i'm like okay i think i know people in the uk who might have a landline number so let's pick it up Turns out, it's an attempt to scam me, a student. Oh, you have income tax fraud. You did not pay your tax and you have thousand pounds tax due. I haven't even earned a thousand pounds in the UK. What are you all about? You can either go to court or you can settle out of court with 70,000 pounds. Do you hear yourself? Honestly, do you hear yourself? I'm a student, I can't make this decision like that. Okay, we just send an officer to your house. Okay, officer, I haven't earned a thousand pounds, but they're charging me thousand pounds in tax. Tell me how that makes sense. Anyways, it's a scam. I asked my friends, I spoke to mom and dad, spoke to family friends, and apparently it's common, and I was just behind the times. So yeah, that's my scam update it was gonna be such a productive day <sighs> good morning everyone it is day three of term and today we have like a welcome lecture for our course that is gonna be for two hours so that is long but yes yeah, so i've got my cup of coffee here I'm also running a load of the washing machine, so optimizing behavior because we are also economic students. <laughs> so yeah, that's the update for today. I have a few other things planned. 
and yeah should be a fun day Thursday update I literally just shot a video that I need to post today because guess what I have no idea where the days went but it is so so I shot the video I will edit it during the day today and I'm gonna go and catch up with my friends at a cafe and we're gonna sit together and watch a lecture that we do together we have that module do together so that's gonna be fun and there's coffee involved which is always fun and yeah now i'm gonna get hopefully some readings done get myself more coffee before the actual coffee and breakfast because i'm converting myself to a breakfast person because breakfast in the morning is O O D D time so well yeah i am actually gonna go out today so that's why i'm dressed up a bit in joggers that's my dressing up but anyways pro tip when you're actually doing like lectures from home it really helps if you like change into something you'd wear outside because then you feel like you're gonna go and do something and you, that doesn't even necessarily mean that you have to go and do something but it still puts your mind in that frame of reference and then you can actually go and get stuff done so pro tip i will let you know if this pro tip works for me or not but yeah that's it okay so the best way to start off a good morning is to have yourself some decent breakfast and that's what I'm doing right now but we're also university students so we need to study so here's my bowl of breakfast and here's my reading so breakfast and reading breakfast and reading yeah that's my day so I just finished a reading I've been doing it since yesterday and it took me to today morning to finish doing it and I have lost the will to do any more, but the show must go on, so we will continue to do our readings and watch our lectures. It's <laughs> okay. I haven't had sun in a week. More than a week actually and the fact that the sun is shining so bright on the day that i'm going out it's got to be a sign but yeah on with the video and in my case editing this video can someone explain to me how it was sunny 10 minutes ago and then it's rainy outside what go in 10 minutes and then you start raining what is this? 10 minutes later it's sunny again if you're wondering what english weather is like it's like this okay so we're at a cafe chilling and also doing work because as i said in my previous video it helps to have your friends to keep you accountable for doing the work so chilling with friends chilling with friends chilling with friends at this point i must reiterate how important it is to wear masks we weren't wearing masks in that clip because i told them i was filming and we took masks off for that period but yeah, in closed indoor spaces, always wear your mask. And I was wearing my mask after that. So please 
wear a mask, stay safe, wash your hands, just maintain your hygiene levels. On with the rest of the video. It is 7.25 p.m. day 4 and I'm still gonna be watching lectures. Online learning really do be like that. But yeah, say hi to my lecture because obviously my lecture can hear you because it's on my laptop and my laptop can hear you. No, it can't, but it can. But can it? Can it really? Clearly, I'm losing my mind because I've been watching so many lectures. Or have I been watching lectures? I don't know either. I have titled this lecture Ethics, Economics, and Policy. I'm sorry that this is posted a little bit later than I would have liked. I know some of you were confused because the links didn't work and that's because the lecture hadn't been uploaded yet. Okay, so quick update, it is day 5 of term, week 1 is coming to an end, and yeah, I've finally started to get into the groove of doing lectures, even though it's very taxing because the schedule does not exist, so I have to schedule, and I'm gonna be like, ah, we can do this in reading week, I guess, but no, we can't just wait till reading week to do our lectures, we have to do them as they are uploaded, so... In case you remember, I said, I'm going to start doing a lecture last night. I didn't do that lecture then. I procrastinated until midnight. And then at midnight, I watched a 40 minute long lecture, tried to make notes. They asked us to work on seminar questions. I had no energy to do that. So I just watched the lecture. And right now I'm going to watch another lecture. And I just got myself a coffee because I also have been watching lectures for a while. And also working some other stuff out. I will be doing a French language course, so there was a meeting for that to ascertain my aptitude level so that I'm put in the correct course. So yeah, as you can see, things are in full swing and it's gonna get pretty hard, but I guess we can grow with it because that's what we signed up for as university students and I think that's something that we can take forward into lives beyond university so yeah get into the grind but we enjoy the grind because it's knowledge and it's knowledge that we want to know slowly and steadily i'm beginning to realize how much agency is involved in this kind of online learning and yeah that is gonna be tough to deal with but we got this you got this we got this so today has been a fairly stressful day. Stressful has a lot of work to do, that's why it's stressful nothing as such. I finished doing lectures, so I am kind of on top of that, but I do want to get started on my readings. And yeah, we just have to roll with it and make sure we don't fall behind. This has been a good week one. Maybe the weekend will be a good time to catch up and also unwind because I will also get to see my friends and go chill with them but yeah that's my update on friday night okay so it's saturday i'm going to campus to work and also meet my mentee and i saw this beautiful garden scene outside so i thought i'd snap it and give you a taste of the garden so it's also here in this clip so it's a beautiful day outside, I must say. Second time in term that I'm on campus, I'm at Pratt. It's like I've stepped in London, but that's a good thing. And yeah, it's just so strange to see Brett so empty. So yeah, that's Saturday of week one up there. Yeah. So we met our mentee, our PP kid, so to speak. And then my friend and I, we just ate at 
to study and catch up on some of the work that we have. So we found this amazing empty quiet space in the SU. So we just sat here. I took in the views and I got some of my readings done. So yeah, that was a good day. Productive day, I'd say. Okay, so we're going back home from campus and guess what we found? Salted Mendigo Pringles, but for 50p. 50p, yeah. And we also found Starbucks coffee for a pound. So yeah, come to Warwick Base Camp. Shameless plug, but... Warwick, can you please sponsor this video? <laughs> Thank you very much. So yeah, that's it for my end. So I kind of forgot to vlog on Sunday, but yeah, so it was just me going over to my friends and just having a chill kind of pizza night. We were watching Avatar The Last Airbender, definitely recommend. And yeah, that was honestly the end of my week. I had planned to make this like a massive vlog of like the first 10 days or two weeks of term but then it would be a behemoth half an hour vlog and so i just thought i'll post the next half of my first two weeks i guess i'll just extend that vlog and i'll just put it up like maybe sometime next week or like the end of this week so yeah that's it for me this time thank you so much for watching and let me know what you think let me know what you want to see, let me know how I can improve editing tips, what you want to see, what can I vlog about, stuff like that. And yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching. Continue being awesome as you are. Leave a like if you enjoyed watching. Subscribe if you are intrigued by what I do or just to support me. And yeah, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.